I'm back! <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so yes, I'm back after taking a week break. I just needed, you know, time to rejuvenate, get back energy, feel fresh and ready to record another video and so I took a week break but I am back and I am back with another review and as you can see by the title, today's review is on South African Horror. Eight. Let's get started. However, before we get started, you all know the drill. I gotta talk about the storyline, talk about the characters, talk about all of that, and because of that, a spoiler alert is in effect. So for real, let's get started. Okay, so what is this movie about? Well, it says over here. After inheriting his estranged father's countryside home, a man hires a mysterious farmhand with a demonic secret that draws his family closer to death. Okay, so let me talk about my initial thoughts real quick. Okay, so the intro of this movie gave me heart palpitations. My heart was beating out of my chest because you know it just gives you the feel of the movie the horror feel you know it's very ominous very dark and you you know you know it just it makes you wonder what's gonna happen the intro leaves you very confused but it introduces you to you know about what the movie is going to be centered on and it well centered around and also you know still giving you that chance to want to see more it doesn't give everything it barely gives anything away but i was here for that you know so you just want to watch the movie and see how that intro connects with everything else that has been happening in the movie and i was here for that i really enjoyed that okay so the characters well basically the main main character is lazarus lazarus is the one that has this secret and um what happened was that lazarus had a daughter who um passed away and so he didn't want to lose his daughter so he sort of kind of like made a deal with the devil and so now his daughter was like reincarnated into this entity called Tuli and so now what happens is that Tuli has to be fed but Tuli doesn't eat food Utuli feeds off people's souls so Lazarus has to go around getting people's souls so that Utuli can be fed it's very messed up so Lazarus is this person the main character then we have William William is the one who inherited his father's farm so William and his wife and their niece Mary moved to this farm and that's where they meet Lazarus um Mary is the one that connects the two she's the one that is the connection between William and Lazarus and um so yeah we have other supporting characters as well that play you know very minimal roles but very important roles nonetheless but I must say that the characters judging by what they were given because I don't think the storyline was well written no tea no shade no pink lemonade in my opinion there were a lot of things that were just very confusing with the storyline and also a lot of things could have been added on in my opinion but i still think that they did a good job acting with what they were given um so yes this is a south african horror and you i'm not a fan i'm south african yes but south africa's movie industry could use a lot of help in my opinion i just feel like they could they our movies aren't as well developed like hollywood and stuff like that but i still think we could work towards that and so i had like i always have high hopes when a movie's gonna come out like a south african movie but like i'm always left you know like oh my gosh why y'all had so much potential you had so much to work with and i think that eight was one of those where they had so many things going for them so many things they could have used so many things they could have amped up amplified to make it even more horrific you know because it's rated 16 and i don't understand why because there was hardly anything scary about this but i'll get back to that either way my point is that the characters did a really good job and so i was here for that okay so this movie I already told you guys what it is about it's about this family that has moved to this farm and then they meet Lazarus and Lazarus 
then works for them and helps them like re renovate and get things back on track because you know the house was really um abandoned at that point and a lot of things need help being fixed so lazarus helps to fix them but lazarus has this so i literally just saw a bright flash from the corner of my eye and i literally thought Tuli was coming for me <laughs> I have no idea what the flesh was but yes Lazarus has this secret so now let me just I feel like the movie had so much potential because I feel like with the character of Utuli they could have gone further with that scare me with this movie I expected it to have like the shock factor of like the conjuring or the nun you know it had that potential like the character of Tuli they could have ran further with it but I think you only see that character like three times throughout the movie and I'm like th this is what it, this is the shock factor this is what you know causes the scare in this movie like how you see in the conjuring it's all the conjuring too that is it follows around the nun the spirit of the nun Valak. same as in the, um, the nun it's the same thing so horrors usually have one character that's the one that brings the shock factor this scariness to the movie and in this one it was Tuli but Tuli was not used to her full potential and it really made me mad because scare me have me shivering that's what I thought I must do have me have palpitations have me beating up my twist that's what I want but no they were like let's play this was like a PG horror honestly like I don't know why it was rated 16 it could have been rated PG 13 in my opinion okay so I must say what a valuable lesson a valuable lesson is that a woman's intuition is never wrong people trust us women trust us when you say something is off something is off okay just, just set myself with my hoodie okay because William's wife when they get there and she sees Lesbian she's like mm -mm, mm -mm, something is off do they listen no turns out that something really was off Okay, so I'm just like a woman's intuition is always right because you better listen to us women. Women know what they're talking about, okay? But I must say that she really had me in my feelings in one, one particular scene. One particular scene because she was always skeptical, very suspicious of Lazarus, right? So then they made him stay in the shed, right? So then she went on to, and she picked through the window and was like let me see what Lazarus is doing and then she saw Lazarus talking with Utuli and was like oh my gosh this dude literally got like an entity just chinchilling in his bag you know so now instead of running to William and telling him face to face that I done saw Lazarus with this I don't know what it is this entity this thing what does she do she runs screaming William William why do people do that? Because now he going here, he, he gonna know that you found out about the secret. Like I was just like, why is this girl doing you were about to ruin everything? You're about to ruin everything. Honestly, she was legit bolting, screaming his name out. Why? Why? Okay, but overall, this movie was very underwhelming. I needed more from it. The ending was underwhelming. The whole movie was underwhelming. Um, you know, I'm not gonna tell you about the ending. Um, but you know, just the ending was very overwhelming and kind of sort of confusing. I wasn't exactly quite sure. You know, the ending is one of those endings where you assume this is what happened because they don't give it to you straight. And I don't like endings like that. Give it to me straight so I have the right conclusion. You know, because you can't assume. When you assume, you can, you know, assume incorrectly. So give it to me straight. But they didn't do that. So now you gotta kind of sort of assume and kind of put the pieces together. Um, so it was just very underwhelming very confusing um and i was not here for that so yes as i said this movie wasn't scary and i already know the way i measure scary movies is if i'm able to finish it it wasn't that scary because i am easily scared like the smallest thing i'm that person that gets scared of like a boob like you stand behind the door and when i'm coming you go boom i will be scared and punch you in the face so like if I'm able to finish the movie then it's like okay it wasn't scary and this one wasn't scary because I was able to finish it so yeah so yes overall as I said South African movies are usually not that amazing for me um I don't really like them of course there are some great classics like Usarafina but I've watched that so many times it's kind of tedious right now to watch the movie but it's one of the great classics in South Africa but 
overall the movie industry could use a lot of improvement um so yeah with that said don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment switch on post notifications okay all that amazing stuff i literally just popped my neck wow <laughs> until next time bye